Okay, so here we are at one of the two parks in Disneyland Paris. This is called uh, Walt Disney Studios. It opened in 2002 and was and it's supposed to be like a Hollywood S type feel to it. You can see the uh, Mickey Mouse ears, water tower, which is kind of a kind of a symbol. Both that and the MGM Studios, which I believe is now called um, Walt Disney Hollywood Studios or something. I don't know. Now I know this might look this not might look much. I mean, it's just it's just the front. You see you see something you see this building called Lot One. This is basically the answer to the park. Now I know it doesn't seem like much on the outside, but um, when you get to the inside, it's a whole different story. Here, I'll I'll, I'll show it to you. Take a look. Amazing, don't you think? <clears throat> now basically this is like um like a shopping and eating type area. This side is for most of the eatery. The other side is mostly shopping. And basically kind of show, shows off the Hollywood environment. Like the brown, brown derby, the gasoline station, the gossip area, theater, the usual type of stuff. Well, let's continue on later on. Now, we're back at the outside and unlike unlike both uh, Florida and California, they actually have um, Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse here in the studios instead of the, uh, the Magic Kingdom or Classic Palace. I guess that has something to do with the um, but keeping it on her because Walt Disney usually does animation in Hollywood. So basically, pretty much the whole, sh pretty much the whole stick. But now, and now we're looking at what appears to be one of the craziest things ever. As you can see, this, this is actually a Hollywood backdrop set. Some of the Someone like like that of MGM Studios and that of um, the Hollywood backlot in the studio park. Now, when I came here the first time, the place was completely desolate. I mean, the middle didn't show much. It didn't show anything. And there wasn't any right. Of course, that, that we're talking about, I'd say, 2007, I believe. Now, they... Now they've added so much, so little time, and I gotta admit, they're trying to bring in more, pe more and more people into the park than ever. Pretty sure they're coming up with new rides. Oh, uh, this is the uh, uh, Disney Animation Studio. I think this is mostly like a tour of the animation department. Here's something called the Anima Animagic. It was just like a show. Pretty unique, if not. Unusual. I didn't get a chance seeing the show, and it's too much of a time waster. Now, although you can't see it, this is actually um, carpets of Baghdad ride, one of the most important, one of, one of the original rides that came out in 2002. It looks kind of fun, but kind of childish. Now we are entering what it would appear to be Crush's Coaster. Now that's like one of the most popular rides in Walt Disney World. It's kind of fun. You go in this coaster and it spins you out of control. Basically, basically an old time favorite. So, the ride might be fun. Getting into it is a real bitch. But trust me. Trust me. The line here is humongous. Usually it's like 90 minutes, it looks like now 65. I don't even clearly much understand why, why they don't, don't even put fast pass in this type of ride. They, they really have to add a fast pass here, here just so that way like, people can, can get on the ride faster than just walking around in the hot sun all the time. I just don't get 
Okay. Now the next part is kinda it's kinda cool. What you're looking at right now is something called the uh, cars rally. Yeah. So, so this is mostly like a mass kind of ride, except for cars. I gotta admit, it looks a little fun, but it seems that it's under my under my jurisdiction. But if you want, but if you have kids and they want to go on this type of ride, they're welcome to. All right, now this. Now this here is the uh, Toy Story Playland. They re they recently opened this last year in honor of the Toy Story 3 movie. I I I check this type of stuff up on YouTube. I mean, it looks kind of nice, kind of like a kind of like a Buzz Lightyear engine. Now this is somewhat of a Playland area on both the on both Walt Disney World and um, Disneyland California. They always they did like a Toy Story Mania, which is like mostly a shooting type game. And by the looks of it, I say they made Paris Paris kind of hit this one out of the park. They got here like a Toy Story Story Toy Story the parachute ride with Green Soldiers. It looks kind of nice, but it looks kind of a little moderate even for me. I might want to I might want to go on that type of ride, but I just, I just hope I have the time for that. The next one here is the uh, Thinky Dog Zigzag Spinning thing. This is like a this is like a more of a childish ride. It just kind of spins you around in a circle, whether you go fast or slow. It just feels a little too kiddish, even to me. Although I don't know why they want to put something like that together. We'll just, but if you got kids, let them go on it. It might be fun. Now this ride, I really like to take. This is called the uh, RC Racer. It's mostly like a, like one of those upside, those up and down rides from the carnival. The only exception is that instead of going, going around in a big loop, it kind of moves back and forth in tremendous speed. You can tell, you can see how fast that thing is going. It's pretty awesome. I might want to get on this type of ride. So 70 minutes might be a little bit much. But it's enjoyable. Right right over here. This is where the studio tour goes to. Normally they would have like the studio tour back lot right there, but they kind of removed it to replace the Hollywood sign. So basically it's kind of like the same thing in MGM or, 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 or whatever new name they call it. They even have that earthquake quake ride with the uh, gas tank and stuff like that. But they, but they, have, but there's like a new feature, like in the scene of rain, rain of fire, about about dragons coming out of London. It might it might look kind of nice, but again, it's, it it does have a little difference. Anyway, it seems kind of fine. I've been on that. I've been on that one. It looks, it looks pretty, pretty cool on the outside, with all the different types of backdrops of, of army sets, movie sets, dinosopia, and stuff like that. We'll get to, we'll get to see more of it sometime later in the future. All right, now we're, we're on to the real good stuff right here. This is the Hollywood Tower Hotel, or to be perfectly known, Twilight Downtown Tower. They've expanded this park for some time, and um, this for some time. Started with MGM Studios, then California Adventure. This, the one here in Paris is pretty fun, but it was pretty much the same thing like California Adventure. You know, same ride technique, same art deco, pretty much anything. They did the same ride technique in Disneyland Tokyo. 
but they added like a different theme, like theme for New York, theme that they have don't have much of Hollywood. But I'm I just I'll give a recommendation. You, your kids, your family, what anyone anyone who thinks that it's a thing minor, they might take this type of ride. They would love it. Over there in Lot 2 is something called uh, Cin Cinematic, which is, uh, I think, I believe a 3D movie. Kind of like Muppet Mupp Vision, but without Magic. Oh, this building over here is actually for the Playhouse Disney Live on stage. It's something your kids might as well enjoy. Well, I don't want to do anything like that. More, more of a uh, screenwriter, if you know what I mean. All right, moving on, we're going down to the back lot. Now, now this back lot has three main attractions for for you people who might enjoy. One being special effects, other being stunt shows, and the like. Now, I'm pretty sure you, most of you might wonder what this is, right? Now, for those of you who don't know, that's a prop from the movie Armageddon. And the reason why they have that type of prop here is because they have an Armageddon special effects show. Another ride that opened up in 2002. Basically, some of the special effects where you go into a satellite dish and meteors fall in. But it's huge explosions but, and stuff like that. It's pretty nice. So it does have a showing signs of uh, wear and tear. I don't know why. But perfectly because, probably because it's an old attraction. Now, just like the uh, Ring of Fire, this is nothing related to Disney. It's somewhat more of a um, more of a Universal Studio S type environment. I'm pretty sure you can get away with something like that here in France. Same thing goes with um, other types of attractions, no matter what they're doing. Moving on to moving on now, we're entering is the uh, Mortars Stunt Show Spectacular. This this became ex extremely popular here in Paris, like the biggest stunt show stunt show ever. And in fact, it was so popular, they, they moved it to the uh, MGM Studios. And I gotta admit, I went down my first time here, and it was a blast. I mean, you get to see cars chasing each other, motorcycles, people are on fire and a grand finale that completely blows your mind. It's, very, it's pretty cool I, under all types of environments. You might want to check that out if, if you haven't seen the one in MGM Studios. And of course, this here, even though you don't see much in the light, is the Rock and Roll Roller Coaster from Aerosmith. This, again, another thing from MGM Studios. I sort of moved this here. Or maybe it was the other way around, I don't know. Basically it's more of like a roller coaster type feel. And it does show and it does show little differences. I mean, instead of going in through I would like an MGM, it goes into like a kind of a music video as special effects programming. I gotta admit, it, 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 it it's a pretty rocking good time and you never get tired of these type of shows. And of course, last not least, it's the Disney Blockbuster Cafe where you can get your food, pretty much. Yeah, so that's the entire park in a nutshell. I'll come back to you for the, uh, for the original Disneyland.